Welcome to another Billing Metals video. I'm Toby. Um, we're in the laboratory at the moment and today I'm going to talk to you about zinc, casting zinc. I have some beautiful high quality, high purity zinc balls here. This is a very popular product that we sell on our website, uh, billingmetals.com.au. Uh, we also sell it on eBay's Billing Metals, so if you're looking for some of these, you can grab them there. These are very high purity, 99.995% purity. Um, that's very handy for casting, also it can be used for various chemistry uses. And uh, very commonly these are used for electroplating and uh, zinc plating of various sorts, so galvanising, so on and so forth. And um, you can use them for um, sacrificial anodes in boats or any purpose you want to protect alumini aluminium get that word out, from uh, corroding. What I'm going to do with these today, I'm going to cast these using homemade equipment. So that is all equipment that you can make yourself uh, quite easily and very cheaply and set yourself up to do casting uh, pretty much any workshop or uh, anywhere at home. So what I'll do is go and drop these in the furnace and uh, we'll get some casting done. So follow me, we'll go and uh, go into the furnace room. Okay, so here we are in the blacksmithing shed. Uh, it's a pretty basic setup in here. We have a uh, bit of H-beam there with a, uh, a homemade anvil, a nice old uh, vice on it. This device over here, obviously homemade, this is what I'm going to use to demonstrate how you can cast zinc with a very basic setup. So what you've got in here is uh, refractory, very easy to make. We can actually do a video on how to make the refractory cement that you see in here in the lid. Uh, if anyone's interested in that, just hop onto the comments and, uh, and ask in there and I'll make up a video as to how to make the basic mix which does it absolutely fine for casting and for blacksmithing forges. So it's full of refractory in there, there's a couple of air holes in the bottom, you can use one or two or more. We have in there a cheap eBay purchased leaf blower, just a 240 volt leaf blower, and uh, that just blows air into the hole in the bottom. Uh, it blows more than enough air to do most jobs. So we're going to fire that up and we shall place in there some zinc balls. This is again homemade, so in this video I'm going to do everything with stuff you can make at home. That's a, uh, a basic steel crucible, that's steam pipe, old steam pipe chopped up and then had a piece of off cut of plate steel welded to it. You can make those nice and neat, you can make the, uh, the plate on the bottom nice and round and weld them on. but. Um, I couldn't really be bothered, I just welded on a square piece and cut the edges off so it didn't catch. Now on steel crucibles, they're fine for zinc, uh, lead, various other metals, but you've got to be very careful if you're casting uh, things like aluminium, it will actually dissolve some of the steel. It contaminates your aluminium, makes it quite brittle, and it also will eventually leak. So if you're making your own crucibles, uh, steel crucibles, make sure you weld them to the point that they're waterproof because otherwise they will leak metal into your uh, your furnace. So that's our very basic setup here. <coughs> we shall fire that up, it's extremely noisy. Heat up some zinc and uh, show you how you can cast zinc very easily at home with homemade equipment. Okay, so this is just giving you an idea as to how this rather noisy device works. Air gets blown in the hole, you can adjust it by both the speed of the, uh, the machine and also how much of the hole you've got the, uh, the nozzle on there is how I get the fine adjustment. In there is charcoal and a couple of barbecue briquettes. Um, air goes in, fire comes out and zinc melts in the middle. So we'll show a bit of a close up of the casting here. Let me get this on the gear. This. Some sparks off there. This is using uh, really homemade equipment.
Simple as that. So, end result, we have some beautiful, bright, shiny ingots of zinc. Now the uh, moulds I was using there, they're uh, high density graphite. It's quite easily and cheaply available on eBay. You do a search for graphite moulds, you'll find uh, quite a lot of them on there. I don't sell those. We don't have those at Billing Metals, but uh, yeah, they're pretty easily available. So yeah, you can cast into pretty much any sort of mould. You can use green sand. Um, you can use iron moulds. It depends what you're actually uh, wanting to produce. That's how you can cast uh, zinc at home using homemade equipment, cheap equipment. And um, yeah, you can get a pretty good product with very little outlay and you can have a great deal of fun doing it. As always, take care when you're doing such things. Uh, it's very easy to burn yourself rather severely with uh, such hot metals, obviously. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.